Hey, Kanzano here. Thanks for watching this video. I know I said that these videos are only once a week. This is a special edition, and I felt like I needed to post it because there's big news going on at Oregon State, and I want to cover a couple things real quick. Um, Todd Stansbury, the athletic director at Oregon State, leaving Oregon State, going back to his alma mater, Georgia Tech. Uh, a little bit of a surprise and some bad timing for the Beavers. I'll say this, though. Stansbury was pretty stiff, pretty rigid, as a guy, as a person, and I really felt like the, the, the stable of coaches that Oregon State has right now, I couldn't imagine Todd Stansbury sitting around having a beer with Gary Anderson or having a beer with Wayne Tinkle or Scott Ruek or Pat Casey. Those four coaches, I think, are super solid and give Oregon State a leg up when they go to make this hire. Again, the timing is bad, and timing is everything in sports, right? So I think it's going to be really important to keep an eye on who are the front runners for this job or the candidates for this job, and what are the odds? So I present to you my odds making on Oregon State's athletic director search. <laughs> First of all, I think it needs to be a football guy. Somebody who has a football experience, somebody who's going to put Gary Anderson in that football program first. Um, it's all about facilities in athletic departments now, and football is the revenue generator at Oregon State. So I think you need a football-minded person. So the first person I'm going to throw up here on the board, and I'm going to put uh, Mark Masseri, the deputy athletic director, associate athletic director at Oregon State, who is the football guy at Oregon State. Uh, I'm going to put him on the board here. He has athletic director experience at UC Santa Barbara. He successfully navigated the transition from Bob DeCarolis, he was a DeCarolis guy, to Todd Stansbury. He's trusted. He knows where uh, all the money, uh, all the donors are buried on campus there and all the money that the donors have. He knows where it's at. And I thought it was really interesting in the Minnesota game, the season opener, Masseri could have been up in the athletic director's box, the visiting athletic director's box at Minnesota. Instead, he had a field pass. He was down on the field with the Oregon State coaches. It tells me that he's embedded and he's trusted. Further, when Gary Anderson was hired, and keep in mind, Gary Anderson had Bob DeCarolis as an AD, then Todd Stansbury, he'll be on his third AD. But Mark Masseri was the only other person in the room with Bob DeCarolis when all the promises were made to Gary Anderson, and he left Wisconsin for Oregon State. Gary Anderson has real comfort with Mark Masseri, and it's why I put him on the board, and I put him on the board at 5-1. to one. Those are my odds for Mark Masseri. Our next candidate, Scott Barnes. He's at Pittsburgh now. He's the athletic director there. He's only been there a year. But I put him on the board here because for the same reason as I have Masseri here. He's got real comfort with Gary Anderson. Maybe more comfort than anyone. Given that Barnes was the athletic director at Utah State when Gary Anderson was at Utah State, given that Barnes has real familiarity, real connection, they built something together at Utah State, given that Barnes is also a Northwest guy, born in Spokane, had a job at the University of Washington, uh, I think he becomes a candidate here and a pretty interesting one if you're Oregon State. He's also a former college basketball player. He also was the head of the NCAA Men's Selection Committee at one time. This is a guy I think Oregon State has to look hard at, and I think it's a guy that might leave Pittsburgh early in his tenure there to take this kind of job, get back to the Northwest, get back to Gary Anderson. I'm going to put Barnes at 4-1 to one odds. He's on the board as the favorite at 4-1. to one. Other candidates internally, Pat Casey, the baseball coach, he's long been rumored to have uh, aspirations in the athletic department. Um, I give pause to the Pat Casey stuff only because I think if he really wanted this job, he would have got it instead of Todd Stansbury just a, a year and a half ago when Stansbury took the job, or a year ago when he took the job. So I, I'm going to put Pat Casey on the board, I'm going to put him at 7-1, to one, but we've seen coaches who are successful in their sport try to become athletic director. Mike Bellotti comes to mind, Bo, Bo Schemblecker did it successfully, Barry Alvarez did it at Wisconsin, but we've seen those guys try to do it, we've seen a lot of them struggle to do it. It's two jobs, it's two different hats, it's a lot of red tape, and I would hate to see the athletic director part of Pat Casey cannibalize the baseball coach Pat Casey. I also have a field bet out there and I'll put it at 12 to 1 and that includes everybody else out there. I think Oregon State's in a real precarious position trying to make this hire because of the timing of the job. All the sitting ADs uh, right in the early part of football season I think are going to be really reluctant to uh, be interviewed or be a part of a discussion like this. I think it's a really tricky time for Oregon State. So one thing that they might do here, one thing the Beavers might do, and I keep an eye on it, is form a search committee. 
and kind of wait and see what happens. If Scott Barnes at Pittsburgh's interested or Masseri emerges as a great candidate, then I think they pull the trigger. But I could see Oregon State trying to wait several months, trying to get deep into the process before making a move. I know they're going to say they want to do something immediately, launch a national search, all that. It's all the right stuff to say. But I think the timing of this is really tricky for Oregon State. So Barnes, Masseri, maybe Pat Casey, a field bet out there. Uh, but if it happens sooner rather than later, you probably heard the name of the next athletic director at Oregon State on this video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to this channel if you want more of these videos.